Hi, it's John. I think it's about the 15th. It is, it's the 15th of March 2017. And I'm at Walton Hill, just on the edge of Glastonbury. And this is looking down on what's known as the Somerset Levels. And just down there, there is some water. Not too badly flooded this year though. There's some dips here, so maybe it was a castle or some quarrying gone on years and years ago. I can just see Glastonbury Tor through the trees. Some people don't like that tower because apparently someone was hung in it and it's got bad vibes. It's about five o'clock. So we're getting the long shadows. Long shadows on the poplars. I expect the poplars like it down there. The land is a bit wet for normal trees. It's an arty sort of shot. This brass plate is at the high point. I like these sort of things. Uh, so you can see which way north is. And uh, I'm less likely to get my east and west muddled up and it says Glastonbury Tor is just three and a half miles away and the little plinth is set up north south east west so that makes it even easier so that one towards me here is the south and then the west on the left and the north straight ahead and east this way where the sun rises that's an elderberry bush there. Started to come out in leaf. I didn't know they were an early one to come out in leaf. Ah, nice to see it. And then the hills in the distance. And uh, catkins on the hazel. And ivy on, in the back there. Cycling has really taken off in this country. Cyclists all over the place. Um, get a new carbon fibre bike which weighs about seven kilos. There's a shot through there. I don't know whether I can get it. Some uh, cows. Pretty cows. I thought that might have been a squirrel up there, but it's not. It's a bit of old dead wood. That tree is a bit like a man waiting to give you an embrace. This muddy track's a bit like when I first went to secondary school and we had to go on cross country runs and the tracks were always like this, muddy. And you had to get all muddied up and then shower off. Looks like some volunteers here have been coppicing. Um, this is done for wildlife somewhere for little creatures to hide in there and then over here is a little pile of logs that's supposed to be good for wildlife as well I suppose it's sort of carbon capture anyway anyway what's it do makes people think they're doing something there's hawthorn out in leaf here Blackthorn blossom. I can smell it, it smells nice. Now we've really hit the golden hour, the hour before sunset. There's little farms out on that Somerset levels. You know, in my imagination, they're little small holdings. 
county council small holdings. I expect most of them have been sold off now. Is that called a narcissi because it's a fancy daffodil? I wonder how this narcissi got right up here on these hills. It could tell a story. And looks like they might have a damson tree in the garden. I can see some white blossom and there's a road down there so I might go back that way. That chap there he's saying how much he loves this area and he works in London in the week and this, this is his home and he really loves to come back home. Had quite a conversation. I'm not really one for taking pictures of sunsets, but seeing as I'm here, it might be my sunset day. Don't think this camera is very suitable for taking pictures of the sunset. It doesn't seem to be at focus on the sun. Well, I didn't get on too well with the sunset, but the moon now is fantastic. You know, all the way back from Glastonbury, I've been in fog. I've just got up to where I live now and uh, completely clear. And we've got this, um, this moon, which the camera's actually decided to focus on. So that's, oh, I uh, shouldn't have said anything, but, uh, that's it then. Right, bye for now.